Hey guys, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iOS 5 Gold Master release. This is it, folks. This is iOS 5. Let me just show you in the settings section here. You can see it 5.09A334. That is the final Gold Master, the version right prior to the public release. So, this is what you're going to get come October 12th. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak this version of iOS with Red Snow 0.9. 0.9 beta 2 this is a tethered jailbreak all you need to do is go to extras you have to select your ios 5 beta 7 firmware you will need your beta 7 firmware thus far to do this so just go ahead and mount the beta 7 firmware uh, select it and then select the ipsw file it's going to say successfully identified so it's going to identify your firmware and it'll it will use that for the rest of the Red Snow session. You have to do this on beta firmware. You, you don't normally have to do this with normal publicly released firmware. So this go back, select jailbreak. It'll go through the whole shebang. And this will take just a few seconds. And then you should see an option to install Cydia. Just click next. And then it's going to ask you to go ahead and put your iPhone or your iPod or whatever device you're using into DFU mode. So go ahead and put that in a DFU mode and then you should be good to go here. So once that is in DFU mode, it should automatically recognize that it is in DFU mode. And as you can see, it did, and it's going through the exploit right now. And it'll go through this and jailbreak your device. Now this does take a while, especially when it's a uh, moving application. So you're gonna see that here in just a second. So it's downloading the jailbreak data. Super simple process, really can't go wrong with it. And the familiar matrix screen, I like to call it. And this will just scroll through here for a little bit, uh, for about a minute or so. And then you'll get the familiar pineapple logo in just a second. So while this is happening, you can just go ahead and click back on Red Snow because we're going to need to do a tethered boot here in just a few. So I'm going to show you how to do that as soon as our iPhone reboots and we're back up to our home screen. So now let's take a look at our, um, it's actually an iPod touch, but same difference. Let's take a look at our iPod touch. You should see it moving applications. This is what takes the majority of time. I've actually sped this up a bit for your convenience, but this probably takes upwards of five minutes to do this moving application. So just be patient. Uh, it is working, it's just taking a while. Okay. Now it's installing bundles and now it's going to reboot and then you should be at your home screen just like that so now we're back let's go ahead and unlock the ipod and now you should see cydia it will be white because you need to perform a tethered boot you have not yet done that so now we need to put the device back into dfu mode once it's back into dfu mode you can go ahead and do a boot tether and i'm going to show you how to do that right now Back to uh, Red Snow, you just want to select your IPSW again. You have to do this again. It'll successfully identify it. And then you can do your just boot tethered. And just remember, you have to re-identify your IPSW file for this to work. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So now it's going to do the patching files. Exploding with Lime Rain again. And now we should be back to our device. And you'll see the familiar Pone Apple. And we'll just speed up through this a little bit. Now you should see it back to our lock screen. We'll go ahead and unlock our device. And then you shall see, you shall see, ladies and gentlemen, right here. There it is, Cydia in the flesh. Open it up, select user, and there we go, folks. We're good to go. The iOS 5.0 Go to Master jailbroken on the iPod Touch. So that's how you do it. It's super simple, super easy. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.